Hello, welcome to Martin Maths. We're going to do some area of some 2D shapes here. Rectangles, triangles, parallelogram squares, and trapezium. There's a few questions on the sheet. I'm just going to do one or two examples of each. Start with rectangles. Area is simply length times width. 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Don't forget the units. For triangle, it's just half of that. Remember, any square rectangle divided by 2 would give us a triangle, so we can do half the base times the height. So I don't actually need that 12 here. I just need 5 times 10 divided by 2. That's 50 divided by 2 is 25. Or I could have halved the 10 and then times by the 5. Either way, I get 25. Now let's look at the other two, parallelogram and trapezium. This one is just as straightforward as a rectangle. Um, but what I'd need to do is find the perpendicular height. They've given us the slope here, so I can't actually work out what that height is uh, unless I knew it. So let's say that height was, I don't know, 5. Then it'd be the area is length times the width. 5 times 6 is 30, okay? Because that slope doesn't actually give us anything to help with the area. It does with the perimeter, but not with the area. Trapezium, I need to find the average of these two sides. So it's the half of 7 and 4 times by the height. Please have a look at the video that I have about uh, deriving all those formulae. So that's 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 times 4. That's going to be 20 plus 2. So it's going to be 22 centimeters squared. The last one, square. This should be straightforward. 8 times 8, it's 8 squared, it's 64, which is why 64 is a square number, because it makes a square. There we go. That's area of some 2D shapes, rectangles, triangles, squares, parallelogram, trapezium. Please do have a look at the other video I have on my channel about deriving those formula. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.